Uh, I saw some tweets of yours, uh, particularly with regard to uh, you know you being summoned by the enforcement directorate in the liquor case. Uh, in your tweets, you allege that uh, you had already announced that uh, uh, this dharna will take place in Delhi, yes. and in the middle of that, uh, the enforcement directorate summoned you. So do you think that this was an attempt by the enforcement directorate to stall your dharna or to prevent you from carrying out this dharna? Is that the allegation? Absolutely. You should fundamentally understand that in this country, there is no difference between Modi and ED. Mm -hmm. So when ED summons, it's not ED summon, it's Modi summon. Mm -hmm. So politically, if there has to be a diversion from the ongoing issue, the central government has been doing it repeatedly, not now in various issues. Whichever main issue comes up, then somebody will be arrested or somebody will be summoned. So all of the news channels are going gaga about that and the main issue goes on the side. This is a serious issue promised by the Honorable BJP government and also Mr. Modi, if you remember when he first entered into parliament, he did that namaskar to the parlor steps of the parliament. He said, my Lok Tantra ke mandir mein jaro. In that speech, he says, one of the first bills that I'll pass will be Mahila bill. And nine years later, there is no mention of it anywhere and none of the, nobody from BJP is talking about it. So we just want to rem remind that to them. And while we are attempting to do that, ED summons me. I said, I can't attend on 9th, I'll attend day after. Mm -hmm. So they agreed, 11th, I'll go and attend. There is no, see, there's no issue in attending. Mm -hmm. When agency wants to know something, I'm a responsible person. Of course, I'll go and answer their question. And what if it leads to an arrest? Because in the case of Mr. Manish Sisodia, I'm sure you must have heard very recently, this is fresh news, that uh, uh, he was arrested by the CBI, then went into judicial custody, and now he's been arrested by the enforcement director. See, when, since you mentioned about tweets and arrest, I want to ask you, I also check your Twitter. So when I checked your Twitter, you said, uh, Friday are we getting prepared for another arrest? Mm -hmm. How does the media say that? Is government saying something about it? Because we are seeing a different trend now. In this entire case, from last eight to nine months, they have been hounding our party, Amadmi party, and many businessmen based out of Hyderabad and Delhi, and constantly doing it. In doing so, what they have done is, if suppose a person is arrested, earlier it was a practice that only first page of remand report is given to media. Now the entire report is leaked, and the entire report is there, and the media goes, you know, on a trial about that. Two, I am a woman member. And my personal phone number is leaked by ED and it is all over the screens across in all Telugu media. Imagine the kind of calls I must be getting. Luckily, they were all good calls and then I stopped answering because it never stops ringing. Different story. But what is this nexus between ED leaking the information, media taking it up and spreading the news across the public? So this is nothing but a maligning practice is what I feel. And when people like you tweet, then a lot of people take it seriously. So when you say uh, that you are speculating your arrest on Friday, we are undermining the entire system. Mm -hmm. See, when will you arrest a person if there is a solid evidence? But the mask that the ED has is Section 50, which is very draconian. And time and again, we've said that this is draconian. And we are really waiting for the Supreme Court to stuck it down. Because since, you, since you mentioned my tweet, I, would, I think I owe an explanation. The point <laughs> is that that was... Uh, uh, you know, given the track record of how things are happening, like Manish Sisodia got arrested, many There's other no arrests. There's no question mark though in your Sorry? Tweet. There's no question I mark. I will make sure that a question mark yes, is. Yes, It's not a statement, <laughs> it's a question. Yes, but there it was no question I, mark. Yeah, so I asked a question. So in that context, do you feel, Ms. K. Kavita, that uh, uh, like it has happened to other opposition leaders, do you fear an arrest? There's no fear. See, the fear is there when you do something wrong. I've not done anything wrong. If they want to frame me in a case and put me behind the bars, mm -hmm. what are they trying to do? They're trying to intimate my leader, intimidate my leader or any other leader, opposition leader saying, Ki, baat karoge, to andar kar Sure, they have the power now, but hamesha nahi rahega na. Satta to badalta rehta hai. Governments keep changing. It will be some other government someday. Hopefully, they'll have more maturity than the current regime. And hopefully by then Supreme Court will take up this matter and proof of burden should be removed away from the victim. So today they are telling me or alleging that I have done something wrong. And now the proof is on me, burden is on me to prove that I have not done anything wrong. But how will I, me as an individual fight with the whole system? So this entire section 50 has to change and I am sure it will change. And good senses will prevail upon uh, next house uh, in the parliament or whatever and they'll change or the Supreme Court on Do you think 